So this little guy is a small parrot. It's called the white belly kite. Eventually all the black will disappear and it'll be a bright orange head. Now we like to sort of match our customers to their birds by asking them lots of questions about their lifestyle. For instance, this bird would be okay no matter where you live. It's, it's a quiet bird, it's a small bird. So you can live in a condominium or a small apartment or a big home. Little birds, big personality. Now, other birds, like the big macaws, for instance, these large macaws, you would want to have a large house, or at least a house. You wouldn't want to have one of these in a condominium where there might be sound restrictions. I say sound because birds don't make noise. They can be vocal, and they're highly vocal at sunup and at sundown. Mostly the South American birds. The Indians have a legend that that's their way of saying, Hello to the new day for having lived through the night. And at nighttime is the last hurrah for the day or thank God for the last day because most of them get eaten at night. So this is why they're so vocal at sunup and sundown. That's, again, legend. So going back to the type of lifestyle you have, we try to match you with the right type of bird. If you have a lot of children, some of them might not be so, a little more hyper than others, and we recommend the cockatoo. Cockatoos being these white birds. Cockatoos are sweetness personified. These birds are sweet 100% of the time, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And so they'll get along with most children, the entire family. Of course, we have cats in the store. The reason we have cats in the store, our dogs are at the farm and birds are used to dogs. But again, lots of customers own other pets like dogs and cats. So obviously, it's important that a bird learns to live with a cat in case your household happens to have a cat at home.